Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Absolutely gorgeous morning here. Clear blue skies, 72 degrees. The tide just starting to come back in. I'm at the north end of area two. Water temperature, 82 degrees. No red tide out here this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous morning again. As I look out into the water, I can see the water swirling with schools of fish out there just like yesterday. All of our sandbars exposed here right now. Absolutely gorgeous. Some little sandpipers here down on the beach in front of me. Beautiful morning out here. Nice and calm. Water is really, really flat. Good morning. I'm walking south right now. Down towards area one. I see one of our great blue herons down there in area one, out on the sandbar. I wonder if we'll see any dolphins this morning. It's been quite a few days now since a dolphin showed up during one of our beach walks. They're out there, people spot them all throughout the day. Well, I just see the water rippling out there with schools and schools of fish. I wish the camera could pick it up out there. It's just incredible how many fish are out there in the water. Good morning. get down here before the heron takes off. All the way down, it's coming up on the first entrance to the beach here at the park. I should have started down here in area one. <laughs> I'm back down where I started from yesterday. That big, that great blue heron is just standing there so, so still. It looks like a statue down there. There's a couple turns and some gulls out there. Sitting on that sandbar as the tide slowly comes back in.
should be able to see the heron now. See it down there in the middle of the screen? Just standing there. It has not moved. It's just turned its head a little bit back and forth. It's a great blue heron, that big bird you see. Up oh, now it's walking. Absolutely beautiful birds. Tons of fish swimming out behind it. You see the water swirling. What a magnificent bird there. That's a great blue heron. They can stand nearly four feet tall. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful sight here on this Thursday morning. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna get out on the sandbar to the south of it. Hang on a minute. I don't want to scare it off. Oh, he's ruffling up his feathers there. It's an absolutely beautiful bird. Water's up over my knees now. A gorgeous sight. What a gorgeous view, huh? Looking down the beach. I'm gonna try and snap a quick photo off of this, so bear with me here. the great blue heron. I'm standing just offshore of the beach in area one. Absolutely beautiful. That bird is gorgeous. Kind of bright there. This is where we saw all the sand dollars yesterday out here on this sandbar. I'm sure there's still some out here. The tide's a little higher than it was yesterday when we were out here. I got an earlier start yesterday. It's gorgeous out here though, absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that great blue hair in there? You gotta look close, it's right there. Right above my finger there. Slow 
slowly making its way up to the north. have out on this sandbar anything interesting the tide has covered it up already just 10 minutes ago there was a sandbar here now the tides coming in and covering it up it's gorgeous out here though look at that clear blue sky all around no clouds down to the south, a few clouds way down to the south. A little hazy down there too. Another beautiful, beautiful morning. Another picture perfect morning out there. Look at that water, how flat it is. Come on dolphins, where are you at? Where are our dolphin friends? Wonderful to have them come swimming by while I'm out here on the sandbar. There's that beautiful view. That beautiful view of our beach. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is one of my favorite views. I got several of them. This is one of them here. It's looking north. I'm gonna cut back over to the beach. Beach, see what we find this morning. Beautiful blue sky all around us this morning. There's the seaplane flying overhead. There's some gulls, some seagulls and some terns mixed together here. Some of our shorebirds. Always fun watching them. It's a wonderful view this morning as we look up the beach. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolute paradise, folks. Absolute paradise. No ifs, ands, or buts. That heron we saw earlier is making its way north up the beach. Hopefully we'll catch it again, get another look at it. Ok, 
Okay, now it, it's up on the beach. It's actually up where we came in, in area two. We're down in area one. We came in at area two, and then I walked down. I saw that heron, I walked down real quick. Now we're gonna head back up the beach. Happy Thursday, everybody. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, be sure to let everyone know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group here. Take a look around here, see if I spot any dolphins out there, but not yet. No signs of any dolphins yet. Another blue day here. Nice blue water, the water picking up the blue of the clear blue sky. Yesterday morning, I got a little earlier start out here. That was fun coming out here an hour earlier. That doesn't, I don't get to do that too very often. the slightest little waves rippling along the shore here. Little tiny ones. It is really calm out here this morning. Calm and clear. Thankfully, no red tide. We are still red tide free. I'm hearing some bad things on the news lately now that darn blue-green algae is making its way back down the Caloosahatchee River. That's horrible for the, our friends to the north of us. Absolutely horrible. Right now we're in pretty good shape here in North Naples. Yeah, I think I see all of our bird friends up in area four there. Hopefully nobody will scare them away before I get there. There's a little snowy egret just took off there. Boy, the sand is kind of hard to walk in here. Gonna sink down in it along the shore right here.
I wonder if our osprey friend is over here in these pine trees this morning. Hey, a quick reminder there, be sure to download your nonstop Naples app if you're ever planning on coming and visiting Naples. Download the free nonstop Naples app and get your nonstop Naples rewards. Some local restaurants and other places. It's a free app. Nonstop Naples. I don't see our osprey perched up there, but I do see the blue heron again, the great blue heron, right up here in front of me. See it right in the center of the screen? Fortunately, he or she's in the shade. Eye. There's a bunch of little fish jumping out there in the water around it. That's two ibis there to the right of it. Two white ibis. I wonder how they get along. We might find out here. Gonna get something. Almost oblivious to each other right now. Whoa, did you get something? Nope. Didn't catch anything. See the fish jumping out there in the water. Well, those ibis are just walking right behind the heron. See the little ripples out in the water? That's the little fish jumping all around. That's some snowy egrets there in the background now, little snowy egrets. All our little shorebirds out here waiting for their breakfast to swim by, <laughs> waiting for their breakfast to be delivered. Look how clear it is as I tilt up there. Look how, see all the way up to Fort Myers Beach. Isn't that amazing? Just absolutely, ooh, tons of fish. Tons of fish just jumping out here. Tons of fish were just going crazy out here in the water. Right behind that blue heron, there was a bunch of fish jumping. There's all kinds of stuff out there in the water swimming around. Very, very cool. This guy should get something here. fish right out in front of it. And some 
pelicans flying by in the background there. Look at that water swirling around. That's all fish over there. They're just staying out, just out of reach of this great blue heron. I got some sunlight on it. Beautiful. Well, we took off just as a bunch of fish jumped there in the water. Here comes a pelican flying by somewhere out there. It's going too fast for me to follow. <laughs> Zoom back out here. Huh. So the heron went back down, down the beach a little ways. It's gorgeous out here. What a beautiful morning. All the fish out there. Three little snowy egrets here. Still not seeing any dolphins out there, darn it. I know, keep my eyes peeled for some shells, something interesting on the beach, but not really seeing much of anything. Here's a piece of an old worm shell. One of our wormy tips. Little fighting conch shell over here. Pretty common, the fighting conchs. We see a lot of them on the beach. The Florida fighting conchs. Three little white ibis here. Right down next to me. Pretty young, pretty small. Three white ibis, doing what ibis do, doing their ibis thing. They just walk up and down the beach all day long doing that. If they're not on the beach, they're in your front yard. Waves, little waves don't seem to bother them too much. Those are pretty small ibis. Three juveniles. They probably just got their white feathers. When they're young, they're like a dark brown, almost black. to follow them along. Well, let's head on up the beach and see what else we find.
Look how flat it is out there. Just incredible, isn't it? Just the slightest little ripples out there from the little breeze that's blowing. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's ideal for spotting dolphins when it's flat like that. But they have not been around in the morning when I've been out here. They've been spotted throughout the day, just I have not seen them lately during our beach walks. You just never know about the dolphins, when they're gonna show up. They will show up, just where and when. Do check out that video just ahead of this post. I posted right before this beach walk here. Check that dolphin encounter out. That was the best dolphin encounter I had out here with Roy. Just amazing. Just amazing. The dolphin just swimming back and forth in front of us, right up along the beach, almost beaching itself. It was incredible. Chasing fish around. It was actually just playing with the fish. It wasn't actually catching the fish. It was just playing with them. Trying to wash them up onto the beach. You gotta watch the video. It's amazing. Well, I do see an osprey perched up in a tree over here. They've got a couple favorite spots. One's that dead branch down on the tree in area three. And another one up here in area four. There's actually an osprey on that branch that's hanging out there. Oh, rats. Piece of a piece of a crown conch. I thought maybe there was a crown conch there on the beach, darn it. They're one of my favorite shells, the crown conchs. Just a sliver of one though, darn it. Look at that water. Look how nice that water looks. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. I got two things up here. I got an osprey in the tree, then I have an island, a sandbar full of terns. What do we want to look at first? Let's take a quick look at the osprey in the tree, and then this sandbar is loaded with terns up here. Hopefully they won't take off. We'll take a quick look at the osprey right up here in this branch hanging out right up here I love I love coming out here in the morning and just looking at all these birds doing some bird watching Let's see if I, I'll zoom in a little bit here There, you can see one of our ospreys perched up in top of the Australian pine. Magnificent birds. A lot of times people mistake them from, for bald eagles. Much smaller than a bald eagle, not the same color configurations of a bald eagle. But they see that white head and I can understand how they get them mixed up. Beautiful, the osprey. I got some great pictures of ospreys here. You need to take some time and check out my photos and videos here. Find some osprey pictures, all, all kinds of great photos and videos. Osprey. Yep. Absolutely gorgeous birds. Maybe I'll get a little closer. It's a little shaky there.
Great fisherman, the Osprey. Unbelievable eyesight, unbelievable eyesight. They can spot it sitting up in, the, I'll show you when I pull back out of the zoom, how far away from the beach he is. He can see fish swimming out there in the water from up there. Just amazing. So he is sitting, he or she, sitting right up on the end of that branch. And believe it or not, it can spot a fish out there in the water, all the way out there swimming around from up in that tree. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. What would be incredible is if a, is if a dolphin came by and said good morning to us. I'm going to hit this sandbar here. Walk out on this sandbar. This is the south end of Area 4. I've not been seeing much in the way of shells on our sandbars. They are very, very empty. It's just beautiful out here, though. There is a nice shell line up on the high tide line up on the beach. I like sticking close to the water though during my beach walks. Well, that water is really cooling down. Really cooling down. I'm gonna take a photo, don't go anywhere, hang tight. All right, I'm back here. Look at the water, I'm right here down at my feet. Look how clear it is. Thousands of little little fish swimming around, maybe an inch, an inch and a half. Little fingerlings. That's what the birds eat. Thousands of them. They're just keeping ahead of me out of view of the camera here. <laughs> if I stand still, sometimes they come swimming around me if I stand still. Nope. They're keeping their distance. <laughs> Darn it. I listen to all the birds. You see them all up there? All up there on the tip here of the sandbar. Beautiful sight. An absolutely beautiful sight. take you take you for a little walk around the birds here hopefully I won't scare them away I try to give them their space and walk slow as so as not to startle them they're usually pretty good about letting me walk around them but unfortunately there's been a lot of people just kind of charging at them to get pictures of them flying and videos of them flying and they get really skittish and it does take a while for these birds to gain their trust in humans so please respect them respect their space isn't that beautiful that is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous view right there Another Kodak moment, if you'll bear with me. Something startled all the birds. It wasn't me. I did not make a move. Something just startled them. But watch this. This is really cool. When they all come back, they all come flying back here. That is so neat. These are seagulls and terns. There's a couple types of terns here, lesser terns and royal terns. Right here in front of me, this lone tern sitting out here. See if I can zoom in. That's a royal tern with the orange, orange beak if it turns there, yep. 
a royal crested turn. There's, there you can see another royal turn with the orange beak and then the lesser turns with the black beaks behind it. Really bright out here. So we have all these turns sitting here, and then there's some more up here, out on that little sandbar up there. Absolutely beautiful. Pretty soon though, this sandbar they're sitting on is gonna be underwater. Underwater as the tide comes in. Yeah, they got their own little spot there. Their own little spot on the beach. I love these little patterns in the sand that the waves make as the tide goes out. Isn't that neat? Got a great picture of the beach yesterday. The pattern like that. Let's walk up a little further to the next little point over here. And we'll turn around and start making our way back. Beautiful out here. I love the colors, the blues and the greens. And look at that sky. Just absolutely gorgeous. Might get a little rain late today. Expecting highs up in the mid, mid to upper 80s. Again, that water temperature's 82 degrees. At least that's what it says up at the front gate. I think it's a little cooler than that. These early morning shadows. Look at the early morning shadows from the trees out here on the beach. Isn't that beautiful? like mostly lesser terns out here in this group of birds. I see one, it's like one lone skimmer, one lone skimmer bird. You see the pelicans flying by in the background. Fish jumping out of the water. We have a dolphin maybe out here. I don't think so. Just fish.
Just fish jumping. Beautiful colors though, just absolutely gorgeous colors out here this morning. Wow, we just got some new arrivals here. Some more turns flew in from that other sandbar that we're at and joined us up here. That one black bird in the back, if you look close, that's a skimmer, right about in the center. All the rest are turns, a couple seagulls mixed in here. Just gonna walk out into the water and go around them. Get a few photos looking back. See how they just kind of slowly move away from me. As long as I don't move too fast, they're fine. It's pretty much common sense. See how they just are slowly walking in a group, keeping their distance from me? So neat. This is Area 4 Beach, what I've renamed Roy's Beach. This is our friend Roy's Beach now. This is where Roy and I would always chat up under those pine trees. He'll be back one of these days. No, no worries. That's looking north, up our beautiful beach. Absolutely beautiful out here this morning. Look at that sky. So clear. We're gonna take one, I'm gonna take one more little walk around the birds. And then we'll start walking back down the beach. They are just beautiful. This is my favorite part of the beach walk, watching all these birds. If you enjoy these beach walks, share them with your friends. Hit that share button. Let everybody know what you're watching. One skimmer over there on the beach all by itself. See that lone bird over to the left? One little skimmer bird hanging out there.
eat birds, the skimmers. They are very cool looking birds, the skimmer birds. What a gorgeous morning. I love it out here. If you enjoy watching these videos, remember, no way pays when you be out here and do these beach walks. I love doing it. But if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. Helps pay the phone bill, put gas in the car, other things. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post. Every little bit helps. Thanks. because of those little contributions that I was able to get a new gimbal here to steady the camera up. You never know when a little accident's gonna happen. Without the phone and gimbal, the beach walks are pretty much impossible. Boy, there's a big school of fish right out here in the water. I don't know if you can see the water rippling out there. That is a big school of fish right there. All the way that water is rippling. I can actually see them. I can actually see the fish. Every once in a while, one of their back fins will pop up out of the water. Probably maybe mullet. But that dark, oh, they're rays. It's a big school of rays. They're rays. This is a huge school of rays out here. Look at them. Look at them. See them out there? That's a big school of rays. Kind of hard to see. There's two down here on the bottom. I don't want to step on them. That's a big school of rays swimming by. Wow. See all those dark spots in the water? Wow. That is cool. That was really cool. Stingrays. That was so neat. They're just slowly making their way up the beach. Wow, that was really cool. They'll go right around you. Don't be, don't be scared of them. Don't try to grab them or anything. But they'll swim right around you out here. That was incredible. I wonder if there's any more coming up. They're looking for warmer water, I guess, heading south. That was so cool. Wow. I hope you were able to see them. The water there, the water's kind of deep here. It's almost up to my waist. But that was really, really neat. Really, really neat. Just a quick glimpse. That was cool. That was fun. Hi. Huh? Oh, that was those were stingrays. That was a big, big school of stingrays. Yeah, no, that was their wing coming up. Uh, there was probably a hundred of them at least. Incredible. Well, it's also incredible that you're out there with them. So. <laughs> yeah, they don't bother you. They go right around you. <laughs> that was quite a sight. That was my first stingray encounter like that. We've seen lots of stingrays, but that's the first school that I actually got, was able to get out and get a shot of them. That was very cool. And I'm sure there's going to be more. So 
some of these condos along our beach you can sit in the condos and look down and just see thousands of stingrays swimming along the shore now this is a big school of fish something Ooh, look at all the birds there's a big school of fish of oh, darting all around out here I can't get close to the fish <laughs> they're not as docile as the stingrays there was a big school of fish just came charging through here and if you look yeah you can't see because of the reflections there's hundreds and hundreds of little tiny fish down here about an inch maybe an inch and a half and the bigger fish just come in in schools and gobble them up it's quite the sight they jump out of the water they have these feeding frenzies out here it's incredible now they're over there i can see where the by the color of the water there and the way it's rippling i'd love to see another school of those rays come by i don't know what time that was in the video that was really really cool I just hope you got to see them. It was very hard to see them. The water was deeper. They were very dark, a dark brown color. Check that video out later. It was probably maybe, what, five minutes ago from this point right here. Yeah, it was really cool. Well, I gotta get heading back down the beach our fingers crossed for another sighting sighting of something oh, dang it some people chased all the birds away down to the south still have our turns here still flying in again if you enjoy these beach walks Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I love coming out here and doing this. I think it's a good form of enter entertainment. <laughs> Plus, it's a great way to make new friends here. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. This is where I took that picture the other day. Not quite as dramatic as it was yesterday morning. All the ripples in the beach. It's just early morning light and the shadows really emphasized all these little waves in the sand. It was a really cool, cool shot of our beach. This beach has gotten huge here. This part of the beach, it used to end way up there. Recent storms and everything, this beach is always shifting, changing shape and size. Look at it now. <laughs> It's huge. Of course, when the tide comes in, where I'm standing is probably going to be underwater. Tides are just changing now. High tides around out here taking pictures of the birds great to see young people out here enjoying nature absolutely wonderful no 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 don't chase the birds that pisses me off royally cute of a picture as that might make that is the total wrong thing to do when you're out at the beach oh come on yep That scares the crap out of those birds. Yeah. 
tambahan please don't do that with your children there's a lot of people watching in disgust here Sad. Absolutely sad to watch that happen. How you doing? It is picture perfect out here this morning. The water is beautiful. All we're missing are our dolphins coming by. Unfortunately, there's no laws about chasing the birds up and down the beach. If there was, the rangers would be out here enforcing it. But some people just don't have as much common sense as others. Just saw a classic example of that. beautiful colors here. Starting to see some of the greens in the water now as the sun's getting higher. Started out it was just super blue. Blue sky this morning, blue water. Now we're starting to get some of our blues and greens in the water. This is Del Norwigan's Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. Hit that share button. Let your friends know what you're watching. I got another 15 minutes of beach time here. I see the great blue heron still out in the water down to the south of me. Take a little walk out onto this little sandbar here. Try not to scare these birds. Try to take it easy as I walk by them. Some little turns out there with a couple seagulls splashing around in the water. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning here in paradise.
You know what I always find hard to believe is how many people live here, live within 10 minutes of this beautiful beach, and they don't come out here to enjoy it. It just amazes me. Isn't that a gorgeous view? Absolutely splendid. That's what I like to do the most is just stand offshore of the beach and just take in the view. I mean, it's nice to stand on the beach and look out at the water, but I find it more enjoyable to look back at our beautiful beach here. Am I weird? <laughs> I mean, the water is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And I enjoy looking at the water. But something about just standing out here in the water, the waves just lapping on the shore. It's just incredible. My favorite view is from out here in the water looking back at the beach. And then look at that beautiful blue sky. And the birds just hanging out here. Sadly, sadly, that point up there where we were just up there where we were looking at all the turns because that family was up there, they scared them all away. They flew away, I don't know where they went. They let their kids chase them up and you know, run into them, chase them up and down the beach. Freaked the birds out, now they're gone. All for the sake of a family photo. I wish all the birds flew over and pooped on them. doesn't take much to startle these birds and if two or three of them take off they usually all take off so I do my darndest to walk slow give them some space I hear an osprey up in the tree here I don't know where he is I'm gonna walk over to the beach See if that osprey, if we see that osprey up in the tree. Might be the same one we saw earlier. I just heard it calling out. Hear it? That's the call of an osprey. Yep, that's the same one we saw earlier. Right up in that tree there. Absolutely gorgeous birds. See it up there, beautiful. That beautiful blue sky. Boy, it doesn't get much nicer than that. Look at that. Beautiful. Wish I could hold it steadier. <laughs> Bird watching on a Thursday morning at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. I'm trying to flip the camera back here. I can't 
can't get the darn out of the selfie mode or into the selfie mode and back out. Bear with me here for a minute. I've got a huge glare on the screen. This happens every once in a while. It gets stuck here on me. Bear with me for a minute here. The screen has gone blank on me, dark. I cannot get out of this zoom mode here. I gotta get into the shade. Get some shade on the screen. Bear with me. It's one thing, these darn iPhones, they just, the screens, after you're out in the sun for a while, the screens go dark on you and you can't see them. Apologize for that. It happens though, you know? <laughs> so I trust we can see the water again here. You're not getting a thrill ride on the beach here. <laughs> oh, darn it. That great blue heron was, just took off. It was just down here. It's flying further down the beach. Darn it. We saw it a couple times this morning. Right down where I started right now. Maybe we'll see it before I leave the beach. It's right down by the boardwalk that I came out on. Hopefully nobody will scare it away. No guarantees here, though. Ninety percent of the people that come to the beach here are really considerate and very considerate of the wildlife here at the park and the other people at the park. There's always those few bad eggs. They come out and litter. They come out and let their kids chase the birds away. We just saw a great example of that happening. Hey, something really, really cool we saw. I don't know now what it's been, 15 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago maybe, maybe a little longer, it was a school of stingrays. Got a quick look at them. I had to run out into the water to chase them, to get, not chase them, to get a shot of them. And I hope you got to see them. That was about 15 minutes ago. That's a little snowy egret there. It's gorgeous here. The water is absolutely beautiful. Here's our three little ibis. We saw them earlier this morning, the three little white ibis. We got a good look at them. I see some snook just offshore. I don't know if you can see the dark spot in the water out there. That's a snook. Right out there, there's another one. Right over here. I don't know if you can see that little dark object in the water. Just took off. Just went out into deeper water. There's a couple snook. There's our little white ibis. These are pretty young, they're pretty small white ibis. That's what they do all day long, walk up and down the beach, probing into the sand, looking for something to eat. The snook are just, 
just offshore here. There, you can kind of see it out there. See that dark little object out in the water? That's a snook. There's several of them out there. There's one a little further out right in there. Sometimes if I stand still, they'll come in closer. Here comes one. I don't know if you can see, they're, they're really hard to see. There's all kinds of neat fish out here. All kinds of neat things to see in the water. In the water, in the trees, on the beach. Absolute paradise. Of course, all of our birds, our shorebirds. I haven't been finding a lot of great shells lately, and it seems like we've been doing more bird watching lately. Little, that's a young little snowy egret right there. That's a small one. That's a little yellow feet. getting close to our starting point here. Now I'm in the shade. I can barely, barely see the screen, even in the shade here. More helicopter flying by here. Unfortunately, that great blue heron has gone further up the beach. Thought we were going to get another look at it, but he's slowly making his way actually down, down the beach to the south. But all kinds of little fish jumping out here. That's why all the birds are lined up here along the shore. There's all kinds of little fish jumping out in the water. Everything jumping but dolphins, darn it. Well, hey, I want to thank everybody for watching today. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like, and when you do, hit that share button. Hit the like and share button. Be sure to like and follow Southwest Florida Television. Oh, by the way, that's a white ibis down there in the corner of the screen. Remember, I don't get paid. If anybody wants to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. you find my PayPal account info right here in the description of this post. Great beach walk this morning. Be sure to check those rays out. That was incredible. It's just a fleeting moment in the video, but boy, it was exciting. Hey, have a wonderful Thursday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.